Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fat Pack to Six Pack. I'm Azam and I'm here to help you and me get a six pack and stay motivated too. So today was an arm session, which was really good. I uh, started off on dips. Uh, the goal was four sets of nine now, because I think I was managing my eights. So I did a set of nine, two sets of eight and a set of six, which was really good. So I feel as though my triceps have improved drastically from when I first started to now, which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, from there, I went on to uh, straight bar bicep curls. So I moved the weight up on this. So the goal was four sets of eight with 45 kg. I was doing 42 and a half last week. I moved up to 45 kg just because I was like, mm, may as well do it. Um, four sets of eight was the goal. I managed two sets of eight, a set of seven, a set of six, which was cool. Then I went on to close grip bench. So I moved the weight up again on this one to 70 kg from 65 to 70. Uh, close grip. So I'm, again, I managed uh, two sets of eight, a set of six and a set of four uh, that was my close grip bench then i moved on to seated bicep curls leaning back just bicep curling up with 18 kg dumbbells four sets of eight again was the goal so i managed uh three sets of eight no two sets of eight a set of seven and a set of six uh so that was good um then i went on to overhead extensions i did one set at, uh, of eight at 40 kg i thought you know what let me try something different so i tried skull crushes with the same weight which is basically where you lie down on the bench and it's basically the same movement. So instead of doing overhead extensions, which is like this, you're doing them with your arms in front to bring it to your forehead and back up, but lying down rather than sitting up. So I did that, but I had to drop the weight down to 30 kg to do four sets of eight, well, three more sets of eight on that one, which kind of, I feel as though I need to hit my triceps a bit more specifically because this one's developing, but this one's slightly underdeveloped. So I'm trying to make sure that they both work simultaneously. Um, so either I may try and change the dumbbells and do it, but I'm going to try the bar with skull crush and see how that develops. So hopefully it will kind of keep in uh, sync. Uh, after that I went into hammer curls with 18 kgs, seated again, just kind of bicep curling them up and down. Uh, hammer curls, four sets of eight, so I completed all of those, which was good. Happy with the 18 kgs for now. Stick with it, see what happens later on. Um, then I went on to kickbacks, so leaning forward and really kicking back there. Four sets of nine with 14 kg dumbbells, which was actually really good. I was happy with that. The first set was easier, sure. Well, maybe not easy, but it was good. Second, third set, okay, fourth set, I started struggling. I think I got to about six, and I really kind of pushed the last three out, which was fine, but they were, my body was all over the place. I was trying to get them up, but nevertheless, lightweight, still thinking about technique and posture while I could, but I want to get those ones out. Uh, then I went on to standing bicep curls, overhand grip. So holding like this, bicep climbing up and down. Um, Four sets of eight is a goal, but I only ever do two sets really. Two sets of eight is what I do. Uh, overhand, just kind of like get them going because I need to really work my forearms a bit more and my grip work. Uh, so that was okay. Uh, from there, I did then a set of wide grip uh, for 12 and then a set of closed grip for about six. And I realized, you know what, it's hurting, putting a lot of strain. So I thought, do not let me stop that. Uh, so instead, I went on two dips uh, on the bench again. So my feet out on the floor, hands down, uh, three sets of 15 on that with uh, a minute recovery. And then at the end, to finish it off, 20 kg plate with 20 reps, just really keeping close, bicep coming up and down, just kind of hit the peaks of the bicep rather than the depth, more the peaks, just kind of help them boom, stick out. Uh, so yeah, it was cool. And that was my workout. Um, the arm sessions normally take a little bit longer, so it takes me about an hour and a half to do my arms workout. Uh, but that's only because I'm doing about five, six exercises on my triceps and six, six, seven exercises on my biceps. So thinking about that with a minute recovery between sets and then trying to keep the recovery between exercises down as well. It's not bad. If you did want to do that, you can superset them. So you do an exercise on triceps and exercise on biceps, triceps, biceps, triceps, biceps. Uh, for me, I've got limited space, limited equipment. I could maybe throw a couple, um, but to be honest, I'm more focused on just making sure I fatigue my arms as much as I can, make sure I get results with those. So it's pretty good. Um, did I want to train today is the next question. The answer was uh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, only because I came home and I was just thinking to myself, you know, it'd be nice to just kind of have a chill that evening um, and rest and recover. But I thought, you know what, if I miss today, I'll train arms tomorrow and I'll have to miss another day before I do my back workout, which means I'll still be on par for kind of being delayed with my sessions. So instead of that, I thought, do you know what? Forget this, I already made a day up. I'm gonna make another day up. I train today, take tomorrow recovery, and then back on Saturday, which basically means that I am recouping those five days I missed. I'm gonna recoup those, and then another two sessions after that, so to say, means I have about seven weeks I need to recoup. Well, 
over a period of seven weeks, I'll recoup the seven days that I've lost out on, which was a little over a week. Well, it's kind of like the week session that I missed. Uh, once I recoup all of those, I'll kind of stay on point, hopefully. But that's about almost two months of training vigorously with one day recovery. Uh, tomorrow is going to be a day of recovery. I think I am just literally going to chill tomorrow because, to be honest, I do actually enjoy the chilling out rather than thinking, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do this. Worst case, worst case scenario, I may just do planks, just to kind of get the core working a little bit more because I need to kind of get rid of all this chubby, chubby, chubby and see what happens. Um, but yeah, absolutely awesome. I really appreciate, again, everything that you guys are doing with your support, with your feedback and everything as well. That was a little bit fluctuated today just because I had everything planned out, but when I got to work, lunch was uh, a fair bit more rice than I was expecting. Um, but I want to see what I can do with the evening meal because I haven't eaten yet, but it's meant to be eggs and I had like steak planned and all these things. It's about 10 past 10 in the evening, so um, I may just miss my evening meal and just have a protein shake and call it quits on that, or maybe a little bit of something, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but my food diary will be up a little bit later on after this video. Um, feel free to share, subscribe, Fat Factor Six Pack on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Uh, if you want to see my diet plans and stuff as well, check out Fat Factor Six Pack with the number two in the middle, Fat Pack Two Six Pack. Uh, if you want to see my nutrition, kind of how I'm eating and stuff like that as well, everything's kind of vlogged and stuff as well, uh, with pictures about what I've eaten for the day and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, overall it's going well. Um, I was thinking about today as well, thinking, do you know what? Next month would be six months, end of six months basically, well, the start of six months. And a lot of people in this time would be getting phenomenal results, and especially in this last month, and that's because they're training hard, they're eating right. For me, I was contemplating, thinking, mm, if only I'd been eating right from the beginning. So if you guys have been following this program and been eating right, fantastic. I would definitely advise to keep going with that as well. You get better results than me. And you would almost really already been at that final kind of goal where you do have to peak your food intake a little bit more to make sure that you do get those results. For me, I am thinking, what do I need to do? How do I do it? What do I need to do? How do I do it? And I am going to start tweaking those amendments over the next month as well, just because I have another six months to kind of go with my training but I really do want to get the results a lot sooner so that, you know, there's no stress. It's like when you get a project at work, you have two things. You can either do the project early and kind of not stress about it, or you can wait till the last minute to do the project as well and uh, kind of stress about it and think, oh no, oh no, deadlines. So I'd rather make sure I plan in advance to kind of hit those deadlines. Uh, on top of that, just so you know as well, sometimes you do get 10, like people do give ne negative feedback or they say, comments, sarcasm, or anything, or a lot of people will be like, oh, he's never going to choose this, <laughs> that's not even possible. And you have two choices in life, you can either listen to the negatives or the positives. For me, I was listening to the positives, because you know, there's lots of positivity out there as well, and encouragement, and instead of thinking about the negative comments all the time, about is this person going to achieve the results, or oh, they'll never do it, they'll never do this, they'll never do that, you don't believe in yourself. Be positive, have that mindset that you can achieve anything you want. And you know, there may be a handful of people that will encourage you. And you know, I do have a heck of a lot of people who are encouraging me, but there's also a lot of people who just laugh and look smug like, hmm, he ain't gonna do anything. But you know what? Ignore those ones because if you wanna achieve those goals, you gotta work hard and believe in yourself. And you know what? I have enough encouragement to kind of, I believe in myself, don't get me wrong, but the encouragement that's coming behind it as well has helped to, for me to sustain my journey for this six pack um, and also it's because you know when you do hit your troughs every so often to help you get back up that mountain to that peak you need a bit of encouragement so thankfully I had that when I was losing out my five days so thank you again to all those guys who have supported me and helped me in this journey I appreciate it I love you all thank you again and tomorrow will be a recovery day may not make a video tomorrow as it is a rest day but we'll see what happens because you know I love making these videos it's accountability you guys are my motivation um, and hopefully it's like a TV series woohoo but thank you again, and I will see you, if not tomorrow, definitely on Saturday for a back workout. You guys take care. Thanks again for everything. Feel free to share and subscribe. Fat Pack Six Pack, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Take care now. Bye.